A possible verdict could be coming soon in a high profile case. Closing arguments delivered Monday in the murder trial of Kyle Rittenhouse in Wisconsin. 500 National Guard troops are on standby, bracing for possible unrest in Kenosha as the polarizing two week trial wraps up. We'll uh, begin our uh, final phase of our case. 18-year-old Rittenhouse is charged in the killing of two men and injuring a third using an AR-15 style rifle during protests in August 2020, following the police shooting of a black man, Jacob Blake. Rittenhouse was 17 at the time. I intended to stop the people who were attacking me by killing them. I did what I had to do to stop the person who was attacking me. In an unusual move, he testified in his own defense last week and broke down in tears, saying he'd acted in self-defense and had traveled from his home in Illinois to protect property during the demonstrations. When the defendant provokes the incident, he loses the right to self-defense. In their closing argument, the prosecution says Rittenhouse was the aggressor when he went to Kenosha armed that night. The two men who were fatally shot were unarmed when they were killed. You cannot claim self-defense against a danger you create. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a political case. The defense in their final remarks argues their client was protecting himself during chaotic unrest. The district attorney's office is marching forward with this case because they need somebody to be responsible. Kyle Rittenhouse is not that individual. Rittenhouse faces five counts, including first degree intentional homicide. A sixth charge, an unlawful firearm misdemeanor, was dismissed Monday. If convicted of the most serious charge against him, Rittenhouse could face life in prison. Melissa Duggan, City News.